with the recent water crisis in Flint, Michigan, lead is on the minds of a lot of people. Joining us to talk about it in cosmetics is Dr. Sabrina Favi. Dr. Favi, always great to see you. Nice seeing you, Jen. All right, so people think lead, they think water most recently from what's happening in Michigan, and they think paint, but you're saying it's really bigger than that. Yes, yeah, so recently the FDA actually issued a warning on this bentonite baby. It's essentially this clay or medicinal clay uh, that has been brought to attention because of the potential for lead poisoning. All right, and what is the danger truly of lead poisoning? Not really just for adults, but with kids, and I would think maybe even more so with kids. Yes, because they have a smaller amount of surface area to cover their entire body. So if you apply this clay to their entire body, it gets readily absorbed and can actually have damages on the kidney specifically, as well as the brain. And in a child specifically who's still developing, it does have effects on the nervous system. And it could lead to some confusion, uh, could lead to anemia, trouble sleeping, headaches, irritability, low appetite, overall fatigue. Yeah, it's interesting you're talking about this one product and we and I want you to talk in a second about cosmetics in general. It's interesting the USDA, US Food and Drug Administration regulates food products, right? When we see organic food, um, but there's still kind of some confusion with labeling. Some I've seen in the store say 100% organic, some is like organic ingredients. Break down the difference for me. Right, and so with food, it's probably one of the most heavily regulated areas as far as the USDA, because if you say 100% organic, it actually means that all of the products within it and the way that it was actually processed and manufactured did not include any pesticides, hormones, uh, or any other additives or preservatives. If something says organic, it means that 90% of the product has been handled or manufactured in the same way. If someone or something says made from organic products, that means that 75% of the products included in that particular product are made from organic ingredients. Hmm. Now, if something says natural or sustainable, those are words or grass fed. These are common words that we're seeing more and more. And these are words that are not FDA approved or not regulated by the USDA. Right, and that's where the cosmetics come in because I know you and I have talked before, the cosmetic industry really isn't regulated. Exactly, and so they're trying their hardest. The USDA is working more and more feverishly to try to come up with some type of standards, but as you know, this is an area that's booming and growing and hard to regulate, and because of it, it's, a, it's an industry that's actually taking advantage that no one's regulating. And so you could be 100, you can state 100% organic, but they that means nothing. Mm -hmm. There are some products that claim 100% organic because they're made up of 90% water, but most shampoos are created by 70% water. So you might as well just say 70% organic and you would not be lying. Right. And so that's slightly concerning because if you rub poison ivy all over yourself, that's organic, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's good for you. Right, I love that. You use that analogy a lot, and I really like it because it's so appropriate in so many things. Um, before I let you go, Dr. Fabi, so what would you recommend to people if they're at uh, either a drugstore or somewhere else and they're looking to buy cosmetics, should they go the organic or natural route, or does it not really pay? It really doesn't pay because it really doesn't mean much. I mean, most of these organic products actually still contain some parabens, mm -hmm. which we know more and more are causing or have some type of carcinogenic or cancer producing effect. And so really it's learning more what these words mean so that you can apply it across the board. Yes, it's going to take a little bit of time to do your research, but until you've taken some time, ultimately this is your health. This is what you're applying on your skin and your skin is one of the, lar it is the largest organ of your entire body. And so your health matters. It's worth taking the time. Yeah, it definitely is. And I hope at least uh, one day the USDA or at least some other federal government organization starts to at least look at it and do some regulation because as you said, it's kind of running rampant right now. Dr. Fabi, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, Jen. All right, let's take a look at our website.